Hey guys, welcome back to Two Fat Girls. It's me, Mandy. Um, I'm going to do Davy Loses Weight. I'm going to do his tag. Um, I'm looking for it right now on my laptop because at first I was going to write the questions down and then I started writing them down and I was too lazy to finish writing them. So I only wrote down like two and a half. And, um, uh, yeah, that was the back of my mail, whatever. Um, and then I'm like, you know what? This is the time that it's good to have, um, a, a laptop because I could just read it off here. But now I'm trying to find it and I can't find his name on here. So just bear with me a second. There's only like six questions. Um, and the first one I can remember was, no, let me just find it. Jeez, Davy loses weight. Why are you so hard? Why is it so hard to find your page? Okay, here it is. Finally. Okay. Um, there's only six questions, and I have watched his video, and I've watched um, Gemma's video, um, and I don't, I haven't watched anybody else's videos. But if you want to do this tag, all you need to do is go to Davy Loses Weight page. I'll put a link at the bottom, and I think he wants you to put it as a reply to this tag. That way, he makes sure that he sees them. So, question numero uno is mention two things you like about the YouTube weight loss community. Um, well, I like that I've made like lots of friends on here that I uh, like some of them are like totally in another country. So I'm, I'm glad that I met them because I would have never met them before because I live in Kentucky and Kentucky is so not cool enough to be meeting people, people, um, from other countries. So I've made a lot of friends. Um, and another thing that, uh, I've learned like all, like I've learned so much stuff off of YouTube because I'm one of those people like I don't learn very well from just reading and I forget there's like different ways that people learn and, and we had to take a test when I was in school and blah, blah blah but like I don't learn from reading very good like if you give me a book I can read it especially okay if it's a book that's trying to teach you something I can read from that book and I could read that book like three times and I would still be like what the hell did I just read I literally need someone to physically explain it to me. And so since, um, like I'm watching videos and you know, it's like, literally it's like they're sitting in my room talking to me. I have like learned so much about weight loss from YouTube and from people that I watch. Okay. Number two, mention two things you dislike about the YouTube weight loss community. Well, number one is like, sometimes I feel like I get really invested in people's videos and then they stop doing them. Like, I'm not the greatest person about commenting. There's literally, like, maybe 10 people that I, like, watch all the time. Like, I've seen all their videos. And those people I comment on all the time. And then other people, I watch them, and then I'll always hit like. Like, if I watch your video, I have always liked it. So, um, like, sometimes I feel like I invest, like, all this time and energy into people and I'm watching their vlogs, and I'm getting excited for them, and then, like, they've only done, like, maybe a handful of videos, and then they stop, and you never hear from them again, and that makes me sad. Um, let me think. And I guess another thing that I don't, that I dislike, and it's not that I dislike a person or anything, um, I, I dislike when people... I just like yo-yo dieters. I guess we could put it like that. And like I did my little yo-yo like a few months back when I tried to do the, um, I don't forgot the name of it. Um, like the, it was, it was like the cabbage soup diet. And I tried to do that and I about like died. Like, I mean, I didn't literally about die, but I thought I was going to be sick. It almost made me sick. So like I, it's hard for me because like to me, like I'm trying to, I don't want a fad diet that's going to help me lose weight just for a little while. Like it's got to be like a big lifestyle change. So you have to be able to do a diet that you can live with 
and like seriously people are living to be like a hundred or more are you gonna be able to eat like that for a hundred years you know or, or are you just gonna like do like all these little fad diets until you're a hundred and you croak and then you, you know you're still like the same way do you know what I mean like I'm not dissing anybody I'm not saying it's bad I mean people have to do what works for them but I just I just don't like fad diets and I've read so many of them like the stars do these crazy diets and eat these certain things and go on these fasts and it's like yeah that's awesome if you're doing it for a movie or you're doing it for a photo shoot or you're doing it for a red carpet event but us like normal people we don't do that so yeah um number three if you could change anything about yourself in terms of appearance what would it be first of all let's see how much time we have here because we don't have enough time for me to discuss all of that um other than losing weight i would love love okay like losing weight comes with you know your body changing and so you know when i lose weight my ass is going to get smaller my hips are going to get smaller um i have never ever ever liked my nose i've never liked my nose and like the guys that i find attractive always have like really long like statuesque perfect beautiful noses and like I, that's the kind of nose that I want. Like I want a long nose. Like my nose, it reminds me of a pig. Like I feel like I have a snout. And like I always like to think like when I was in the womb, like I had this beautiful, perfect, statuesque, like sculpted nose. And then when I came down the birth canal, like it got smushed like that. Thanks, mom and your gross birth canal. Um, so I would definitely like to change my nose. And the other thing is, like, I've said this, like, a million times, and the thing that totally sucks now is we had, like, a big haircut sale at work, and our haircuts were $6.99, and we were freaking busy out the wall. A zoo! And, um, so I was doing, like, a thousand haircuts. It felt like a thousand haircuts for four days. Our sale ran for four days. And, like, my nails, like, my nails, like, these are my real nails. And like two of them broke off because I don't know what it was like this one broke down literally like look how low it is it hurts that's how far it broke down and then this one broke um, and what it is like I have really strong tough nails but I think what it was is my hands were in water so much that they started ripping from the corners and um, and these two ripped and like I have always wanted like really long beautiful fingers like long beautiful skinny fingers which is the biggest reason why I keep my nails so long because it you know it they like elongate the fingers and now just like look at my hand with the short stumpy nails look how tiny my finger is look how short and fat my finger is my hands are so tiny and I just I hate my tiny hands because I'm like 5'9 almost 5'10 and then I have like these little bitty ass hands of like a five foot tall person that's sad. Um, if you've lost a lot of weight, what do you think the main differences are from being fat to being thin? I haven't lost like a massive amount of weight. I lost like a little over 50 pounds. It should totally be way more, but we won't talk about that right now. Um, like I think that the biggest thing that has changed is, and it's so sad to say this, and I've said this in other videos before, but since I've lost weight and I've lost weight in my face, like my face doesn't look as pudgy as it used to be, um, my tips have gotten better at work. And that just goes to show like how shallow some people are. Like I could, like I was fat and I gave like the best haircuts I could give and my tips were shitty. And now I'm giving the exact same haircuts that I've always given and I am cutting like the same people's hair because some people, you know, you're like the same people and I've cut their hair like a million times. They'll give me like a $2 tip and now they're giving me like $8 tips. And which I mean, it's like a compliment to me, I guess. And it's dudes, you know, it's always guys, but I'm like, that, that's kind of shitty. Like I, I've given you an awesome haircut both times, but you gave me a smaller tip when I was fat or because I'm still fat. If you can help someone out in terms of weight loss, who would it be and why? Um, hold on. I'm very distracted. I want to see what year this is. Hold on. 87. I was five. That's, um, it's Eric Carmen's hungry eyes. <laughs> that makes, oh, sorry. I totally got distracted. Um, if I could help someone out in terms of weight loss, um, who would it be? 
and a Y. Like, I won't say, like, names or anything, but, like, my BFF's husband, I would love to help him out so much. Um, and he just, like, recently had to have heart surgery, and he's only, like, 38, I think. And, I mean, he is overweight, and I've tried to, you know, I've tried to give them advice, like, him and my BFF, and... You know, like, I think, I think they do try, I think they try really hard, but it is hard to stick with it, and they have, like, two little kids now, so I would, I would, I would love to help them, and my friend, um, my other friend, like, she keeps wanting to get together with me so I can help her learn Weight Watchers, um, or, like, help her, you know, like, explain like, the basic outline, or, you know, just, like, help her out in her weight loss, and I think she's already lost, like, 20 pounds, and I'm so proud of her. Um, and she just had a baby. Her baby's, like, a year, year and a half now, I think. And um, all my friends have babies. I feel like I should have having babies right now, but I'm not, I'm not going to have any babies. No babies. And, um, but anyway, yeah. So, yeah, me and, me and her need to get together soon. Um, and the last question is, what is the best advice you can give to people who have failed in a weight loss community? I think the best advice, like, you could give anybody who has failed a diet, whether, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be, like, in the YouTube weight loss community, it, I mean, it could just be, like, the thing is, is, like, if you fail, who cares? If you fall off your bike, who cares? Get back up. If you're bleeding, wipe off the blood, wipe off the gravel, and, you know, just, like, get back up and, and start all over again, you know, because I've definitely had a couple of restarts, you know. And the thing that, it, you know, and the thing is, is, you know, I'm still here, you know, this, I mean, it is going to be a struggle because you are going to be doing it for the rest of your life. That's why I'm saying don't do fad diets. You are not going to be able to eat like that until the day you die. You're not going to juice forever. You are not going to eat cabbage soup forever. You're not going to eat lemons forever. You're not going to eat low carb forever. I think the only diet that and it's not even a diet it's a lifestyle is when you go vegan or you go vegetarian and you just totally cut off meat that's not a diet that's a lifestyle and and you know that that is about the only one I can think of that you would be able to do until you are on your deathbed I mean you're gonna be on your deathbed and you're gonna be like dying and you're gonna be like don't give me that steak you know only, only thing and it's like you know what if you if you stopped if you gain some weight, you can lose it. You can, you know, if you've gained it, you can lose it. You know, it's just like, don't, just don't stop. Just don't, da, da. you know, I'm not even going to go there. Why did the I best advice is, is, you know, just don't give up. If you fall down, you get back up. I'm trying to think of a good song. The song that I've got in my head right now is because I said I'm still here. So I'm thinking of John Rezek and I'm still here. You know what? It's like, I tried and I failed but I'm still here and I'm gonna keep trying. Alright, bye guys, see you next time.